Hi guys, it's Tasman the Aspiring Kryptonian here. This week I have something non-Superman related for you. Well, he does kind of feature in this book for a page, um, but I'm here to talk to you about Wonder Woman The Way of the Amazon. So this book is written by J.E. Bright and it's illustrated by Anna Rudd and Steffi Walthall and it's published by Insight Editions, who are the lovely people that actually sent me this book. When Insight Editions first told me about this book, it was, well, I knew instantly that it was going to be straight over my street. Um, I love Wonder Woman and I'm a big fan of Greek history and things like that and this book kind of features well, a little bit of both. And I love delving into the um, the history of, of my favourite heroes and Wonder Woman is one of those. Um, at a first glance the cover the cover is just it's majestic. The artwork is really great. I love the colour scheme. It, Like I said it's really reminiscent of ancient Greece and all the history behind that and it has like a sense of royalty with all the gold and obviously you've got the, um, Wonder Woman on there too. Um, and the font kind of really adds to that as well, so I'm not sure if you can see the bit there. It's kind of very, I don't know, something that you kind of find on like horrible histories and that kind of thing. So this book is based um, sort of towards the younger audience or the younger DC Comics fans and superheroes. Um, I'd say probably pre-teen, um, sort of around that age, um, but I'm 27 and I really enjoyed it. Um, well, that's just going to show it's kind of something that anyone can read despite of, despite the target audience. And although it is all about Wonder Woman, it's it's great for current Wonder Woman fans. Obviously, you learn a little bit more about her. Um, I know, I don't know a great deal about Wonder Woman, but I know a fair bit. And there's so much in here that I didn't know um, about the mythology behind her um, and her people, the Amazo Amazonians or Amazons. Um, and it's just really good. So I think whether you're a newbie to Wonder Woman or whether you're a avid fan and have been for a long time, there's going to be something new in here that you haven't read yet or something that you didn't know. So we'll we'll take a look inside um, and you can see some of the pages. So kind of straight off the bat, this, I mean, this book is rather wordy, um, but it's presented so well that I, to be honest, I really don't mind. And each and every sort of sentence and paragraph is sort of genuinely teaches you something new. There's no blabbering. Um, it's just straight facts so not only do you learn about Wonder Woman which is an iconic hero and her background but you also sort of learn quite a lot about Greek, Greek mythology which is a win-win situation so it kind of includes their their world uh, their gods the nature and sort of their many traditions well the Amazonian traditions so it's something that, well you can see what I said about the artwork it's so detailed I love the maps and things like that um but something I really do love, and I know that a lot of younger folks will too, is the fact that there's so many sort of interactive pieces within the book. So like this, looking at it at first glance, it just looks like a page. Uh, but you have a lot more information and little pop outs and things like that, which which really kind of helps sort of draw you in throughout, throughout the read. And another example of that is kind of hidden messages or hidden letters sort of within the book, which I think is, it's just, like I said, it's a really good touch. And it's hard to get back in, but... It just, just makes the book a little, that little bit more fun. And another example, and probably my personal favourite, is the fact that you have um, strands of the golden thread, which is said to be from the lasso of Hestia. Um, so Wonder Woman's famous lasso of truth, which is, it's simple, and it's just, I know it's a few threads of string, but it's, it's, it's really effective. And for someone that's a lot younger reading this, it, it will mean a lot more. Um, it's just a nice touch, I think. So like I said, I am only going to show you a few pages, um, obviously because I don't want to spoil what's in this book for you guys. But you can just see here, like the the artwork's phenomenal. It's so sort of regal. Um, and some pages, I'll, I'll show you an example, are kind of, this one in particular, are kind of made to look like genuine historic artifacts. So there's loads of sort of um, genuine Greek vases and stuff that were found over time. Um, in like museums and things like that and the artwork generally looks like this um, and I kind of like that they've done that because it's, it's a really nice touch and just shows that and both Anna and Steffi put a lot of time and thought into their into their designs and sort of to make it this way and um, especially sort of the animals and um, the clothing that they wear it's just a great touch and sort of the designs here the mosaics just looks so good um, and it's really effective and I like that it does link with history and sort of genuine facts about Greek mythology. So this book literally covers every aspect of Wonder Woman slash Diana Prince's life. So from her heritage, the background, those around her, her core strengths, uh, why she's the champion of Themyscira, um, to the gods that are in her sort of 
belief system, um, the animals, traditions, clothing, weaponry, everything, uh, you name it, there's information about it in this. So if, if you want to know more about Wonder Woman, this is the perfect book. Um, but it's, it's also kind of done chronologically as well. So it sort of, so like I said, you go through the background and then you kind of eventually lead to what the mosquito is like now, um, how it got to be how it is now, where only uh, women are allowed on there. And, well, there have been a few exceptions made, which this, this book actually tells you about. Um, but it kind of leads to this, the introduction of Steve Trevor, Etta Candy, and, and actually the Justice League, which is where I mentioned Superman. But personally, I, I really love this book. Um, it is a lot of reading, um, but every moment sort of keeps you entertained, so especially with the inter the interactive little bits. Um, and you just learn so much. So it's, it's for me, I think it really helps um, younger audiences um, get used to a new character or, to, or get to know a new character or get to know a character that they already know a lot, a lot more. I would actually, I'd love to see um, a continued, this be a sort of continued series so I'm happy for the same writer um, and the same people that did the artwork because it's it's broken down really well um, and the artwork really breaks it up and like I said before the artwork is stunning um, but I'd love to see it sort of focus on other heroes as well so well, and possibly villains too. So I could literally imagine this being a Superman the Way of the Kryptonians book. Um, I'd buy that one for sure, as you probably know. But I think this kind of book isn't just limited to Wonder Woman because she has that sort of Greek mythology history behind her. Um, I think it could be done for a lot of other heroes and I, I would love to see it. I don't know about you guys, but... So if you liked my little sneak peek of Wonder Woman The Way of the Amazons, you can pre-order it on Amazon now. The official release date is the 4th of August, so there's not too long to wait, just a couple of weeks. Um, but it really is worth the money and it's worth buying because it's a really good read, like I said before.